A while ago, one of my friends said that they wanted to see a collection of my gas masks and wanted to know what I would use in a survival situation. Well, I asked which gas mask they said they should tell me all the ones you have. And I said I couldn't do that because there's a bunch of them. So I'm going to count how many there are first. I think there was 14. I did have more, but I sold some of them. I used to buy and sell for a lot of money. And I used to rip people off, but I don't do that anymore. Okay, let's see. You got the, the PDFD gas masks. One, two, three, four. I used to have a case of 16 of them, but I don't anymore. Again, sold them. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Dang it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. That's my INBH bag. Yeah. Okay, so I told you these are the, these are the PDFD gas masks. Uh, I have one in each size, small, medium, large, and extra large. The extra large fits like a small adult. The um, M10, I think. The M40, the GP5, the, I forget, the M60, some World War II gas mask, the SM67, the M51, I forgot, and some other one I don't remember either. <sighs> am I missing one? Uh, I am not missing one, okay. Uh, so yeah, these are all filters right here. This is an old one you probably wouldn't want to use. But it still works, I guess. Meant for this gas mask, uh, I have an adapter in the kitchen to use the 40mm uh, cans. Here's a unused 40mm. Yeah. Another unused 40mm has the expiration date. These are the uh, expired surplus germ. I mean, this was. That's uh, some other one. But uh, I bought a case of three unused German ones. There's one. There's another one. Yeah. And of course, it's all in German, so I, I can't read German. Um, so yeah. Uh, I've replaced some of the filters with each other. That's a C2A1 filter originally used on this uh, filter right here. This is uh, another filter, unexpired so far. Yeah, uh, it's kind of like the Scott ones, except this one's a little bit newer, at least by the manufacturer date. Um, surplus, I don't know what these were used for, but they're no good. The filters are on the inside. I certainly wouldn't recommend them because, well, you gotta take the mask off to replace the filters and they don't make these filters anymore so all of them are expired. This is the M17. Um, some of the surplus ones have a leaky valve right here so when you're in an NBC situation something might get in here and when you try and sip something or just overall when you're breathing something will slip in here and it'll mess you up. Swedish filter, I don't know what they're used for, that's a carabiner. Oh, I think this is made by Scott. Uh, I don't know. Oh, MSA, okay. Mining company. This was one of the filters that was in that box. I don't know what, which filter this came with. I think this came with the SM67 gas mask. If I sound like a total nerd about gas masks, well, because I am. Uh, that's an Oakley bag, yep. Uh, I keep my uh, M60 and whatever your guess mask that is. I forgot the name, I'm pretty sure it's an S in there. Um, yeah, I keep it in that ammo box. I keep the M17 in this box. I do not have an M15, I'm gonna get one later. I used to buy and sell those, and I thought about buying and selling those because they're everywhere, but apparently not as pe many people wanted them because these ones look cooler. Um, yeah, if, uh, for the survival situation, I'd go with either that one, that's my main one because I wear glasses and um, that one fits the glasses more easily and I don't have inserts for that one. That's my last resort one. Um, these are, the rest are just collectibles. I wouldn't trust that one since that's, in, that's from World War II and in the 1950s they started using the charcoal filters because um, before that they used blue asbestos. 
but uh, that one's from the 1940s and it uses charcoal so yeah uh, if I can't use this one I'd probably use this one or this one if or maybe that one I trust that one pretty well uh, any problems with any of these other uh, others um, these ones are just too small so I can't really say anything about that have to ask a really smart kid this one is made of a uh, really thin rubber the rubber will pull out your hair so if you're a girl or me with long hair I wouldn't suggest using this because it's kind of like rubbing a balloon against your head your hair sticks out and it can get the electrical static shock now this one I wouldn't recommend because um, I've got this clip on it it's kind of acting like a brace because uh, hold on snare drum this happens that's not how it's supposed to be that's how it's supposed to be that presses against your eye and it just leaves a weird indent that oh. uh, clip I'll do it later um, the C2A1 filter I recommend because the military uses it um, apart from their M50s which I don't know what kind of filters those are uh, I think this is Swedish Bulgarian, American, Belgian, Israeli, American, Czechoslovakian, or Russian. They do have the American version. And of course, the Russian ones put in these boxes. Um, and American. Uh, when it comes to the bags, I don't really care. The rubberized vinyl bags are cool too. This is a pretty heavy duty bag that came with the M40 that I bought it at the surplus store. These bags are probably the most expensive and it comes with these eye pieces. Oh look another bag. Oh this is for the uh, M15. I'll show you the drinking thing that's in here. Might have mixed and matched the gas masks with other bags. Because some of them were just a little more easy to play with. Just so you know this is not compatible with a camelback. Um, you have to buy your own little thing so it screws on right there and then you just stick this into something and suck it out like a straw I've never used this I have used the M40s uh, the M40 kinda it doesn't get foggy but there's a lot of moisture and when you take it off and put your finger on where the moisture is it turns into a black moisture I don't know if that's because my mask is used or something but that's what uh, what happens. Uh, do any of these fog up? Uh, that one kind of does. The uh, that one does. GP fives. I cannot clearly say anything about that one because well, it hurts too much to wear. Uh, that one kind of fogs up. I think I don't remember. Uh, these ones definitely fog up. The. I think that's it. Uh, that's probably the cheapest one to ever buy. I would definitely wouldn't trust it though. That's probably the most expensive, with this one being the second most expensive. Actually, this one might be the most expensive. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, so, a friend of mine that requested to see my gas masks. Here you go. I recommend the M40. You wanted to get a um, Israeli gas mask. You didn't tell me if it was the Spillian M17, like this one here. Or, um, uh, M15, the one the military uses, which would be that one. It looks like this one and that one combined. The eyepieces like that one are kind of like that one. Same drinking valve. The filter thing is kind of slightly different. I wouldn't recommend the Israeli one because, uh, they mass produced it and they usually didn't recycle the, uh, the rubbers on the defects, so they just sold it to us. And then now you see it all over eBay and other surplus stores, so I would recommend this one since there's less defects and we actually recycle things. Uh, go for these ones, I guess. Uh, just for collectors. I was a collector, so if you're wondering, that's my first mask. I used to have a couple of those, but I sold them. That was my second, I think. Uh, after that, I just went nuts. I think I bought that one. 
But uh, yeah, keep this under 10 minutes. See you guys. Whatever. I hate you all. I'm just kidding. Leave a like, a comment, and then subscribe. Tell me if you want to see anything about anything. See ya.